the U.S. House of Representatives just passed what they call the Assault Weapons Ban of 2022. What? Where did that come from? I know it seems like it came out of the clear blue sky, but actually, Democrats have been working on this combination bill that has the ban plus some police reforms for a while. But because of some last minute disagreements, the police reform part got tabled for further negotiations and lawmakers instead just put the assault style weapons part on the floor today. Final vote 217 to 213 with five Democrats voting no, two Republicans voting yes, and one Republican not voting. This bill details a very long list of what types of semi-automatic pistols and rifles would be included and says it would be unlawful for a person to import, sell, manufacture, transfer, or possess one of them. The law says as if you have one of the firearms on the list, you can still possess, sell, or transfer it if you were in lawful possession of it prior to the bill being signed into law, if it's manually operated, if it's inoperable, if it's only capable of firing rimfire ammunition, or if it's an antique, and that is specifically defined as well. It also requires safe storage for grandfathered semi-automatic weapons, and there is also a very, very long list, I'm talking pages and pages and pages, of firearms that are exempt from the ban. This isn't the first assault-style weapons ban we've had in the United States. We actually had one back in 1994. It expired in 2004. Now here's the fact. This bill has zero chance of passing the Senate. Of course, they would need 60 votes to overcome the filibuster and pass it, which means 10 Republicans have to join all Democrats and independents in voting yes. And at this point, we don't even know if all the Democrats in the Senate are on board.